What's up guys, Noah from Template FC here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use our Patchmaker version 2. It's a little different from our version 1, and you probably need to watch this to just make sure you're doing things right. And we have an action, a part of this one, right here, that you run and it should do some things for you. But I'm going to show you how to do it manually as well, just in case the actions, um, or the action isn't working for you. Uh, but this is the download you should get. These four items, it's a brush set only two brushes, a sample look PSD, the template FC patch maker. This is what you're going to be using to actually create your own patch. And then the action TFC patch maker V2. So I'm going to open the sample look and the patch maker file. And here is the patch maker. You can see it's just one smart layer with add logo here. There's also a how it works thing with this tutorial kind of spelled out in text form. Um, although the video will cover a little bit more detail uh, and then the sample look is how the whole thing should look when you're kind of done so this is what we're gonna be creating here first and then you can see I have some other samples like this Milan logo which I really like how that turned out the Sampdoria logo and then Real Madrid here so these are kind of the looks we're going to be creating. They don't look good piled on top of each other there, but you get the gist. So I recommend opening up the patch maker file first, and then we want to install the brushes and action. So go to your brush, hit your drop down, and you want to go over to the uh, gear or cog and go to import brushes. And then you want to go to Sorry, the brushes won't go away, but you want to go to the download and select the ABR file with the brushes. So I obviously already have mine, so I'm not going to do it. But you can see you get these two brushes here in a folder called Patch Maker 2. Then you want to go to your actions window. I have mine over to the side here, but if you don't, you want to go to window actions and it should pop up. You might have some other things here. Uh, just click off of everything. So nothing is selected. You can close the drop downs for these groups, but you want to go to the top right of that panel with all these lines, click that, and you want to load actions. And then you want to go to that same folder and get the ATN file. Hit open. Obviously, again, I'm not going to do it because it's right here, but you should get a TFC Patchmaker V2 folder. And then inside that you have our action, which is the outer thick stitch. And once you have that, I want you guys to first run a test. So you want to go make sure your ad logo is selected and then go to the, your actions panel, which I would recommend dragging in your side so you can easily access it. Select outer thick stitch, just the group. You don't have to open anything and then come down here to the to the play button. Press that and some stuff should just automatically happen for you. As you can see, we get this nice outer stitch along everything and in this case we have a circular logo and all types of logos they're not going to be perfect circles so you can see this has some wrinkles in it throughout it's kind of a limitation of photoshop but it also kind of works with this effect to make it look a little more authentic a little more handmade which is kind of nice uh, it can be annoying though if you are going for perfection but uh, the two layers you get from that action are the outer stitches, which is the thicker part, and then the inner stitches, which is the thinner part. And I'm going to go ahead and change the color of the outer stitches to this blue. And then you can see it blends in pretty nicely. And then the inside stitch is black. And that instantly blends in with our logo. So that'd be something I probably realistically would do. Uh, for this tutorial, though, I want this to stand out a little bit. So I'm going to flip it and go black outer stitches, blue inner stitches, just so we can see that a little better. Very nice. Now, after you do this and run your test, you can delete these two layers and then open up this smart object and add your own logo. So let me just come in here, bring in this Werder Bremen logo. And when you do that, you wanna press Command A and then go to your alignment and align center both ways, just so it's centered. And you want it to be roughly the same size Sorry about that. You want it to be roughly the same size as the template FC logo that's already here. So I want it go too much bigger and I want it go very small. You want it to be like around the size. So this is actually perfect, the size already. And then if you hide the template FC logo, save this file 
it will update your logo here. And then you would probably want these deleted for the time being. Um, and since I have this, I'm just going to go ahead and run the action to show you how this works. So we can just go ahead and run the action again. And boom, there's our outer stitch already. That simple. It's really nice. Um, I'm going to go back to the template FC logo because it has a, more colors that will help with this tutorial. So let me hide that, save this again. Come back here. Let's run the action one more time. Cool. Let me make the inside stitches template FC blue, make those smaller. Cool. So now we actually want to create the patch effects on the logo. So what I personally like to do, and you can do this any way you want, I like to separate the colors. So white is the text throughout this logo. For the most part, there's also the grid, but white is the color that I want to be in the forefront because it has the text. And then black and blue are kind of secondary, um, but I want black and blue to be their own separate layers. So I want to duplicate this layer three times and isolate those colors. So I'm going to go to the add logo layer one, two, three, command J's to duplicate three times. And then this bottom layer, I'm just going to leave alone. Like that's fine. You can select your um, colors in many different ways. So for example, I have this selected. I could go to the magic wand tool. I actually want to come in here on all these and I'm going to hide the add noise, but I want to keep the ripple for the ripple effect to still be there. Um, but the noise will mess things up. But you can use the magic wand tool and come in and just select all the white. That's one way to do it. Uh, for this, there's a lot like this. Some of these white sections are separated, so you have to individually select, which is a bit annoying. So if you have a more complex logo, you can hide just about everything, including the background. Make sure the layer is selected and then go to select color range. Select your white it should look like this. Make sure you use the eyedropper to select white. Click OK, and then all the white should be selected. And then you want to come down to the layer mask and click that. And now this should be isolated white, which it is. Now we want to go ahead and add the noise again. We can hide that and come to the second one and do the same thing for the next color. So let me do select color range. And we'll do the blue next. Click OK. Mask it add noise, hide it again, can minimize that, open the next one. And this time we want to do the black. Add noise, and then we can bring everything back. So now these are isolated and I want to name them. So this top one is white, blue, and black. So what we want to do then is go to our layer styles and we can make these visible. Now the action we ran to get the outer stitches uses this layer, the edge stitching LS. So you don't want to ever touch this or delete this. It's the top one. Just kind of leave it alone. You can copy and paste it to um, your other layers, but don't delete it or anything. And you can see we have a few sections here with layer styles. We have colors, blacks and whites. So the topmost layer we have is a white. So I want to go to my white layer styles and these are in pretty simple order. One, one is one, one, and then one, two is one, two. And what you want to do is just look at the layer styles you like and copy and paste them to your uh, white, blue, or black layer. So for this white, I'm going to go and I like three, two. So let's go to three, two, copy and paste that on our white layer. If we hide our layer styles, you can see how that looks, which it looks pretty good. Now our logo has this weird problem of having this thin grid, which can make some things look weird, but I'm just looking at the main text part here and I think it looks all right. Cool. I'm going to minimize that, open up the layers again. Let's go to our black and I'm going to do two, two this time. So let's copy two, two, paste that in black. Very nice. And then finally, let's do our color layer styles. So I really like this last one. I like this last one for all of them. I think it's probably the best of them. So I'm gonna copy that five two, hide that and paste it into blue. And then that's basically our patch made. That simple, nice little outer edge. 
If you don't like some of the patches, you can come back and change it. So maybe we want to go with, I don't know, this second one, one, two, let's copy that. Paste it onto blue. Boom, there we go. And that one looks, I think, a little better for our logo. And then once you're happy with everything, you can select all the visible layers. Oop, I didn't realize that wasn't checked. You can group it, Command J, Command E, and now you have a final version of that logo that you can go and drag to other documents to use. You can hide the background, save it as a PNG or whatever. Do whatever you like with it. It's that simple. And then if you wanna add or do more logos, just go ahead and delete everything but the add logo layer. And you can go back so that we can go ahead and do the Bremen logo now. Run our action. The outside we want green, white. Let's hide these. Duplicate two because there's only two colors here. Let's hide everything. Select color range white. Select color range green. I'm just gonna copy one of these random color ones and we'll paste it to the bottom one, which is the green layer. And then let's get a white. Ooh, let's do a better one. Cool, there we go. So you can see that's pretty simple. Now, I hope this action works for you guys and you guys have no problems, but there is a chance that there could be some issues uh, with the action for whatever reason. I've tested it, but I, I don't know what kind of things could come up. So let me go back to the starting board here with our template of C logo. And I'm gonna show you how to do the outer stitches on your own if the action's not working. So you wanna have your logo here set up, saved. You wanna hold command, come to the little smart object thumbnail, click that so it should select your logo. You wanna to go to select, modify, expand, and you wanna to go to 10 pixels. Click OK. You should have the dancing ants slightly around your logo. Go up here to Pass. Come down here to this middle icon and click that. So you get a work path. Select it to make sure you can see the um, line going around your logo. And you can see this is where it gets a little rough sometimes. So you can actually modify and adjust this if you'd like. Come to your layers, create a new layer. Go to your brush tool. Open your brushes and you want to get the second one that's 50 uh, pixels in size. Then it doesn't matter what color you have, but you want to go back to your pen tool on the new layer. You want to click or right click stroke path and just do brush. Click OK. Right click delete. And you can see we have the start of our stitch around and you want to duplicate one, two, and I believe the action actually does it three times. And then if you hold shift and select all those layers, command E to merge, hold uh, or press and hold command, select the thumbnail to select those stitches. Come down here and add a solid color. We'll make it black and then delete the layer we were working on. You can see, boom, there are our stitches. Come into the layer styles, duplicate or co uh, copy the layer style of the red edge stitching layer style and paste it to that color fill, which you can call outer stitches. Then we kind of want to re repeat the process. Press command, select the logo again. Uh, this time we aren't expanding it. We're just going to paths, creating that path. It's already selected. Let's go to layers, create a new layer. Go to brush, 
select the other brush, 15 pixel in size brush, go to your pen tool, right click, stroke, brush, click OK, right click, delete, press command, select the thumbnail, down to solid color, make this one white, delete layer one there, right click, paste layer style, and boom, that's how you do it manually. You can see it's not too complicated, but repeating that process over and over again can be annoying. So the action just makes that process a lot faster and allows you to experiment more and get on with things quicker. But I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully you enjoy the patch maker. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out on uh, reach out to us on our website or on Twitter or Instagram. We probably won't see too many YouTube comments. But thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out templatefc.com down below. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at templatefc. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.